Well, as our loved ones age, they become more dependent on us, and it can be a tough reality for all family members. Well, thanks to the Mary Wade Home and the services that they provide, seniors are living independently and are loving their lives. And here to share more about the work that they're doing at an upcoming event that we can all take part in, please welcome the executive editor of Wine Spectator. We have Thomas Matthews and Patricia Gunnan, who is a Mary Wade board member and wine dinner coach here. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks now, we're going to get to you in just a moment to talk about all things wine and the wonderful event but I'll start with you Patricia to mm -hmm. talk with us a little bit about you know the fact that a lot of us are kind of afraid when it comes to that time and that topic of putting our loved ones in a facility yes. of sorts why do you think there's such a big concern well it is a difficult decision and our loved ones do want to stay in their home as long as possible however the Mary Wade home does make the transition much easier, not only for the resident coming into the home, but the families as well. And there are tons of options that you all offer. I mean, you do it all. Talk with us about some of those options. Yes. There are many options depending on the level of care that is required. Um, we do offer not only the skilled nursing facility, we have a, a wonderful adult daycare center that is open seven days a week with free transportation Wow! and um, we have outpatient rehabilitation as well as residential care and assisted living care. And so our, and it's open to anybody and everybody? It's open to anybody and everybody. Um, I'd love to have you come and visit at any time. We also have beautiful gardens and it is considered a five-star health care campus. Wow! Yes. Well, no wonder, Thomas, you jumped on board to help out. That's for sure. Let's talk about yeah. this big event that's coming up. It's sure. a major wine tasting. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. How did you link up and get you know, involved with the Mary Wade Home? My stepfather, Reverend Kermit Morrison, is a longtime board member. And uh -huh. a few years ago, he said, Tom, you know, let's raise some money for this great institution. And I'm so glad I got involved. Wow. Tell us a little bit about the event. What can people expect, Patricia? It is absolutely a fantastic event. Um, the proceeds that are raised go to all the programs, as we've just mentioned. Yeah. It's a, a black tie, a formal affair. Mm -hmm. um, we have a silent auction as well as a live auction that the two of you are very much involved in. I'm and excited yeah. about that. <laughs> That's going to be. But this is a time, that, ladies and gentlemen, that we break out the attire and get dolled up and sassy and come out all gussied up. But what's great about this, Tom, is, is that you're adding an educational base to this because you're not just coming out sipping wine. Tell us what your role will be. I'm the master of ceremonies, and I'm the one that gets to combine the education and the entertainment. This year, our theme is a taste of the Pacific Northwest, and we're learning about the wines and food of Oregon and Washington State. Wow. St. Michelle Wine Estates is our wine donor. They've given us uh, six wines for dinner and also for the reception. And then they've also shipped out these wonderful foods from the Northwest, Dungeness Crab, Can you walk Pacific us through the plates? Salmon. Because you all brought the yeah. menu to us we here did. in style. Mm -hmm. yes. So will you walk us through what we're going to see? I'd love to. Okay, we're going to take some shots of that and tell us what we're going to be finding. Start with the Dungeness Crab, and that's going to be around uh, the... That's an Asian-flavored Dungeness Crab matched with a St. Michel Chardonnay, elegant and sophisticated. Then we're having wild Pacific salmon, oh, which wow. will be served, we hope, with morels if they're in season. And that we're doing with a elegant Pinot Noir from Oregon. Mm. Finally, the hearty short rib dish with polenta. Ah. That's matched with two wines, so we can compare a Merlot and a Cabernet-based red. And finally, a fresh berry parfait with a beautiful, elegant, sweet Riesling, also mm. from Washington State. And again, the big boost here is that folks can come out, get gussied up, and really enjoy the educational aspect, I'm sure. Yes, ab absolutely, as well as raise funds for our programs and services as well as we continue to grow our mission. That's wonderful. I want to yeah. put the information on the screen to let folks know how they can come out and join us. Y yes, they can log on to www.maryway.org or they can log on to WTNH.com. Well, you're doing my job for me now. Easy over here, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> but folks, again, the information on the screen. But if you missed it, of course, log on to our website. You're yes. right. And hit Connecticut Style, and we'll certainly provide the link. Right. Thank you both for being here.